Yo guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we got some boating content, which is my favorite. I gotta bring y'all more boating content because it's what I love to do. Obviously I love to race, but boats are really where my heart is at. Today we are on a brand new Viking Valhalla with quad 450s Mercury racing motors. This is 1800 horsepower. And we got some new props on here. Tom and Cody are gonna try out. These are four bladed props before they were running three. So we're gonna check out the fuel economy and see what the top speed of this thing will be. Now it is loaded down with fuel. We're gonna have five people on board and a full tower. So she's a heavy girl, but she'll still run strong. All right, so this is a brand new Viking Valhalla, fully loaded. The name is Baller, owned by Tom out of Sarasota, Florida. And we are gonna be doing some prop testing today. This thing's got 1800 horsepower, it's got quad Merc 450 racing motors, and they've switched them from a three bladed prop to a four. And so we're gonna see what we can get out of her today. All right, show you guys a little bit around this boat. Three Garmin screens, it's got a joystick controls, bow thruster, quad Mercs like we went over before. Cabron Fibre steering wheel with a, what is this called? A little faux action, faux teak No, I know, but what's this little? Oh, teak pod. Teak pod. Yeah. You know, obviously you got your controls for your, your Mercs right there. Walk around the front, fully black painted tower. And this is a full tower, which does have controls so you can steer and drive from up there. Cody, is there a Garmin up there? Yes. Nice. Some lounge seating up here and here, table, and it does have a, a cabin as well. Got a head, some storage, and then here's all your uh, breakers and battery switches. Look at how clean the wiring is. It did such a good job, Viking did. I love the black tower. Got the full length carbon fiber, gem lux, outriggers. Red, white, and blue, it's a good touch. God dang, beautiful boat, brand new from Viking, guys. Check out these new Mercury 600s. These are V12s, this guy's got two of them on the back of his Scout. And what's different about these compared to the V8 supercharged Merc 450s is that the lower unit is actually what turns. This whole upper unit, where the power head stays stationary, versus on this boat, the entire upper and lower unit turn to move the boat so if you can see this division i think it's either this line here or this line here but only this lower unit rotates keeping this still and it's a really cool look when the boat's out driving around it's a new way they're doing things and i support it but freaking v12s on the back of the boat and two of them that is unbelievable things gonna absolutely rip now, i have heard a downside to these motors that they are super heavy i mean obviously if you're running naturally aspirated v12s that produce 600 horsepower each on the back of a boat it's going to really weigh them down so i have seen a yellow fin that has triple 600s on the back but it's very heavy in comparison to the four 400s or 450s or whatever you got on the back of your boat
this is what I need right here, an old research vessel. Well, this isn't probably pretty new, but it's this old. thing looks absolutely dialed. And you can put a 30-foot boat on the back of it. Oh, man, you can go around the world in that thing. Hot tub up on the flybridge. Is there? Yeah. Oh, man, it's sick. See it up there? All right, Cody, what's the final number here? What was she running? Uh, 471 miles an hour. Yeah, burning a lot, like 160, 170 not gallons enough. an hour. Yeah, not <laughs> enough. But, but that was fully loaded down. 550 gallons of fuel and we had five people on board. So this boat's definitely capable of mid 70s to high 70s and it has a full tower. So she's a heavy girl, but she's still yet fast. So in one of my previous videos, you'll see I ran a, a 42 Yellowfin just like this one behind me from Sarasota to Venice. I have been planning a trip to run from Venice to Key West. We were going to do it over the past couple of weeks, but the weather's been too rough. It's been about four foot seas and the boat can definitely handle that, but it's a long day of getting beat up and bounced around and it's hard on the boat and the people. So we're waiting for better sea conditions so I can make a really cool video showing you what that process is like, because it's a neat adventure. You know, it's like 150 miles and it takes about five to six hours. And I want to bring y'all along for that ride. especially when you're at the track, we're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.